The pallid winged grasshopper Trimerotropus pallidipinus ranges from southwestern Canada to Argentina, making it the most widely distributed band winged grasshopper in the New World. In North America, the primary habitats of this grasshopper lie in the deserts of the West, where populations erupt sporadically to damaging numbers. Here we have a gear on the outside of the desert fortress. We'll need to memorize this notation for an upcoming puzzle. This one is called Scandicus, Latin for the climber. It has three notes climbing upward from left to right. The pallid winged grasshopper feeds on a variety of forbs and grasses. Daily diets depend on availability and quality of food and plants in the habitat. This cluster of two notes going upward from left to right is known as podatus or pes, Latin for foot. Aretophism is a sexual attraction to people who go without footwear. Over a period of 29 years, from 1952 to 1980, six outbreaks of the pallid winged grasshopper occurred in Arizona. This singular note is known as punctum, the dot. It also has a jaunty flag which means that it's ready to party and it doesn't care who knows about it. The pallid winged grasshopper is a relatively large rangeland grasshopper but one that varies in weight depending on environmental conditions of its habitat. Despite popular misconception, this crazy-looking squiggle is not known as a doodly worm. It's actually a quartz arrest. This signal tells a musician to take a break and use his loose change to give his mother a call at what were once known as phone booths. So now that we're on the top... Okay, so now that we're on the top of the fortress here. We have to fight this crazy uh, crow with laser eyes to get inside. And he's kind of a pushover. He only takes a couple of bubbles. He's pretty much, he's even easier than the, uh, the mummies in Bremen, really. You just blast him a couple of times and he just kind of dies. Okay. And now we make our way inside the desert fortress. And inside here is where we need to remember those four notations that we saw on the gears on the outside there. If we put in the wrong one, uh, we just kind of fall outside and we have to start the level again from scratch. And the notes on the outside are actually randomized too, so every time you start this level, or every time you get kicked out and have to start again, the notes switch up and you have to remember a new code. So we'll put in the right one this time here. We did uh, three, two, one, and then a rest. That'll take us up to an elevator, which lets us go to the next part of the level. And the clown house rockets off into space, carried by a magic pegasus. And then Major Minor appears on screen to give uh, Katie and Tempo a very important space pep talk. And they're off. And here we have the second flying level. This part is kind of a bitch if you don't know Japanese, but luckily I have an emulator so I can cheat using save states. The main gameplay here is just to try to um, dodge all this crazy shit that's trying to kill you here. While uh, answering questions on a music quiz, each question has uh, two separate answers. And you'll go up or down depending on which one you want to choose. And here we go. Question number one. And we'll save. Question number one is, uh, what song is this? And we'll choose the bottom one. And we're wrong. 
All right, so we'll load it back up. And once again, the question is, what song is this? Do 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 do. It's the top one, I guess. Congratulations, the cheerleader likes it. So out. We'll move on. This would be kind of a cool shooter or something. Like there were enemies here and stuff. So we got question two, and we'll save. The question is, which is this, a banjo or a French horn? Because sometimes you come here and it's a French horn. But for some reason, banjo in Japanese is longer than the word for French horn. So, we're right. Ribbons in the sky. Josh, yeah. And then, is any astronomer worth his salt nose? We have to dodge the space pizzas. Mushrooms, pepperoni, and bell peppers. It was good. That's probably the, the NASA announcement last week. They didn't want us to know. Change it to the last minute. There's actually pizza in space. Hit the checkpoint. Hit the planet. This is the worst galaxy ever. There's all these planets clustered together. This is like a piece of shit. The worst gravity ever. Uh, question number three is, who is this guy? Is it Beethoven or Bach or Brahms or some of those old dudes? I don't know. Probably shorter names. So there you go. It's Bach or somebody. Now... Question number four. What is doot doot? Is it the top one? No, it's not. Load it up. And once again, question number four is doot doot. Is it the oh? You see, the trick is that they're actually randomized. Even when you save a state right before it still randomizes. So it's actually, it's the one with the little uh, three strokes, the little E looking thing. So this time it's the bottom. All right. And that's the last real question. Question number five is, can you survive all of these different places here. And we'll get this little dolly. Alright. Checkpoint. And... Alright. Question 5 is just a gauntlet of death. These controls are real loose here too, so you gotta kinda press it a little bit before you think it's gonna happen. Odd odd flying controls. But I guess it's pretty accurate to, you know, Pegasus kid Pegasus driven clown houses. If they were controlled by Saturn controllers, I guess, yeah. Come on. I'm almost dead here. I got one note left. Very risky. Ah, come on, come on. This takes a lot of focus, which I don't have. And I creep. Yeah. Can't collect everything. Try this. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Okay, and I'm not gonna get it this time. That's the kind of guy I am. I'll get hit by that red planet. It's almost the end anyway, there.
But this cat up there, he's got the coolest bass like in history ever. It's like a, a Technodrome Death Star with rings of Saturn with a deadly skull on top. It's pretty much the best bass possible. And that's where we'll be for the next level. So what do we get? 10 350. Not a lot. But enough for a robot. The only one we don't have is the blue one. Well, you guys sit there. Come on. Yay, okay. Then we got the doll. That's it. Alright. Sayonara.